It's Captain Scott here. I'm with Captain Rush. We're at Maranon, Florida at Marker 24 Marina. We just got back from fishing the other side. We're cutting a nice yellow fin here. He's been on ice all night. We got in real late. Now we're going to take the meat off. So I'm just using the tip of the blade. I'm using the spine or the bones as a guide. Just letting that tip ride along. You can hear it until I hit this lump of the spine. Then I'm going to come around here and do the same thing from the underside. So you're basically separating the meat from the spine in the 360 degrees. Once I get to the spine, I stop. I separate a few inches here at the tail. I'm going to make myself a finger hole. And then I stop and I'm going to leave this side intact because when I flip it, if you take this off, then the tuna lays in a curl and it's hard to cut it without leaving meat. So this side is supporting this one while I do the same thing to it. Again, just cutting with the tip of the knife. Don't try to go too deep at first. Here I go all the way across. Come up. Come back here and again, find those bones. I'll just let the tip slide in. Get a little deep on that one. So if you get below the spine, then just shave until you get back <clears throat> on top there come underneath Same thing. because traditionally you would fillet 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 but they have such a tall spinal cord that it's impossible to get back down without leaving a layer of meat so that's why we come from both sides put my finger all in and now the only place the meat is attached is right on top of the spine. So you're really just lifting using the finger hole and letting the blade ride along the spine. Occasionally you get a little here so you can come back and get that little sushi grade. But we're gonna keep going. And then you flip it over. So this one we already did. So all we have to do is unzip it. Clean our table here just for a second. Try not to get a nasty water and guts on the meat. Minimize the fresh water. All right, now what we're gonna do is take off at a shallow angle. We're going to shave off the rib section. It's really keep it shallow and you save the meat that's on top, especially on a bigger fish. Now the only bone that's left is down the center line and that's where the red meat is as well, the bloodline. So you come back and just, you can even grab your finger hole again and zip here. And it's easier to cut from the inside of the skin instead of trying to cut down into the scales, especially on a small fish that you can manipulate. So that's bloodline and bones. Still a little bit of a concave bloodline left that we're gonna trim off in a second. Then, and we don't try to skin the whole filet. We just come and get a manageable chunk, like what you might cut steaks out of later. And on most saltwater fish, I try not to go hard against the skin, because you leave a little bit of red meat and stuff on the skin instead of on your filet. And now you can see that little half moon shaped uh, bloodline in there. So we just shave a little. I lean it back to see if I'm out of the bloodline, and that's ready to go. Now you could cut it into steaks or sashimi, whatever you're gonna do to it. And then you just work, keep working, small chunks. Goes pretty quick once you do a handful of them. And like I say, if you're shaving and you have red meat, then just come back and go a hair deeper. And that cleans up your meat. It's all meat, no blood. When I get to the last chunk, instead of going down here to the tail, I come up to the fat end and just go backwards. It's just easier. Boom, there you go. All meat, you pat that dry with a paper towel, keep it good and cold. All right, he's got it. Eat some fish. <laughs>